forgetting a lot of like letters and words. I feel like words. way back when, when I was learning how to read in kindergarten, mm. I remember one of the things that we read as like a practice story was about a little girl and a little boy in an apple tree. And you mentioning apple trees resurrected way that memory somehow. in an apple tree. Two little apples. I even remember the girl's name. It was Anne or Annie or Anna. I remember that one book. I don't know if it was like, it was like Roald Dahl-esque. There was like a living tree. Was oh, the giving tree? Yeah. I oh, know. for fuck's sake. I, I was that behind the goddamn kid, tree. It's kind of like weird and creepy. Like the concept of it. See, once you think about it, like church. <laughs> you can choose whether or not to leave that in. I'll leave it in. <laughs> if you're still no a offense theist, meant to uh, anybody, I'm just kidding. If you're still it's a jokes. theist, uh, what's wrong with you? Michael might not be joking, but I am. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, Alex, the theist. This guy's too fast. He's too fast. Nobody will ever discover his secret hideout. Uh, you should watch what happens when we sneak into his base finally. I was planning not to, but I guess now I have to, huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. What do you mean for this fuck's is, sake? You dashed those... out in front of him like a goofball. Well, I thought he couldn't see you because he never looks at you at any other time I've ever done that. I'm but just... the problem is that I've done it so many times that I'm getting hasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hands in the pants. I yeah. do know. I Especially know. since I'm commentating at the same time and can't fully concentrate on what I'm doing. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to slowly turn goofball into a serious, like a serious insult. So if I use it, uh, if I use it enough, right? Like in moments where I would say something a lot meaner than goofball, it'll start to, to feel really mean. Oh, come on. I fucking touched him and he turned around. For the record, this section is much easier than I'm making it look. I did it in like two tries when I was practicing earlier today. Two I blame the recording curse. In 2016. Lol. Hide behind that, uh, what was it? Spruce slash, slash apple tree. Mm -hmm. Hey Michael, do you know who my favorite guy from Guns N' Roses is? Excellent. Slash. Okay. <laughs> slash is such a weird word. Is that actually a word? No, just I'm mean, just saying that just theoretically, if it were a real word, it would be really weird. Okay. <laughs> All right, now wait. <laughs> God, you almost did it again. Uh, if you don't get in there in time, what? he's got flowers. You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. Oh. Take the secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. Is it an orb? Eric, how did you know? What can I say? I just got a little Agent Zero running through my blood. <laughs> what can I say? I die hard. What if you, uh, what if he asked you to do the secret handshake? You didn't know what to do, so you just sort of pulled your dragon wiener out. And he was like, you know it! And he pulled his out, and you guys sort of just had like a little sword circle, fight. Circle, 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 circle. <laughs> All right. Oh no, I flew through the whirlwind. <laughs> oh, the gum drop buttons. Hey, Eric, you should Five tell them about awful. the time that I can't. You came downstairs and saw I was watching a certain film. We've already talked about that when you were uh, watching Shrek Two on the DVD, like a fucking crazy person. <laughs> Our mystical bell towers have been overrun by George Takei, and the bells haven't been rung in days. <laughs> it does kind of sound like George Takei. on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. What's the thing that he says that everybody quotes? Oh my! Yeah. Chill out the trolls, but we really chill out trolls. Chill out the trolls. <laughs> charge into them. Hey guys, did, go tell a troll to chill out in real life. It'll be fun. We talked about Harambe on, uh, yeah, we did. On, uh, not on the, I'm uh, not on the show. We were just, it was just in real life. Really? I could yeah. swear we were recording Paper Mario. No, we were, uh, no, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah. The original time we in talked about In case you watch this not Paper Mario, which I think a lot of people do, Cincinnati Zoo made an official statement ask, politely asking the internet to stop talking about Harambe because it's making it hard for the zoo family to get over it or something like that. And, and of course, now, everybody case, immediately in, stopped, in, right? In, in case you don't know, 
<laughs> you are such a goofball. <sighs> You're dirty. All right, goofball. time to focus. Um, yeah. So if you know the internet, you know that politely asking them to stop doing something is the best way of getting shit done. <laughs> Look at that fucking guy, freaking Eric, out. Eric, those are trolls, by the Always way. Always on fire. These are kind of how I imagine trolls always look, like sort of like hey. round and pink. Eric, you remember those little <laughs> troll dolls with the swirly hair? Yeah. Did, have you seen the 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 trailer for the new? 3D yeah, that's movie what I was trolls? about to ask you about. I, it looks really fucking weird. <laughs> I won't say bad, but it definitely looks pretty fucking weird. I, I don't like. I don't, honestly don't remember. It's it very a DreamWorks well. I just, picture. I just thought it looked weird. Than like a weird concept for a feature film. Ring the bell, Michael. This is in the demo. I suppose you want an order. Which I saw when Michael was trying to set up technology for six hours. Still one bell left. Yeah, like I made that one change and now there's no issue. Knock on wood. <laughs> I, I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Wow, look at look at him. He's got a yeah, break in the fourth wall. I feel, I feel like that wasn't in the script. That was just like God, I'm sick of voice acting for this schlock. It was the end of the uh, end of the editing process, and they're just like, I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna be done. I just wanna fly, skibbity bop, bibbity bibbity bop. This is such a weird mechanic. Freeze the trolls that are on fire as they're jumping, and use them as platforms. <sighs> Fuck. You gob, you garbage. <laughs> Can't do it. Ah! <laughs> I gotta all the go all the way the fuck back down here just to get the power up again. Despite all your rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Come on, Michael. You fucking can do it. First try. Like fucking wait for him to go all the way around if you miss it. I don't like that. All right, it couldn't be any easier. Let's get the fucking bell. Eric, do you like that bell ringing sound effect? Yep. Sounds like it should be on a game show. It is pretty good. Like purified. Merk, thanks, Morgan. <laughs> Morgan the wizard. Morgan the organ. My cat stole my Morgans. <laughs> Sometimes he likes to open my mail. <laughs> uh, he's gonna like watch like a. I'll like see if I can't find a thing with all the senior 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 car gauge bits. You can Why won't the fucking thing why won't Spyro dude, this jump guy's, up? This guy's such a troll. <laughs> oh now he jumps up. Fuck you, game. Fuck you for making it work. Fuck you for that. Oh, fuck you for not making it work to begin with. <laughs> fuck you for that. Fuck you for that. Uh, Are there 127 gems left in this level? No. Wait, you gonna... You have to remember that money bag stole a bunch of our money. Alright, this level is done, which I believe means we are done with everything. We've got both of the speedways, everything in that is done. Weird. We're done with all the levels here, so all we have left, I think, is the, uh, is Ripto. I like how the live symbols for Spyro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the weirdest one. It's that trope that you were making fun of. Remember when you were like, a, g a girl version of you shows up. Remember that? Yeah. It's a bacon of which. <laughs> bacon of shitty tropes that I don't like. Looks like the capture is having issues. Again. <laughs> Speaking of shitty tropes I don't like. <sighs> we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back from outer space. Hopefully the fucking glitches will stop now. Folks. But at least it let us get all those levels out of the way, finally. My petition never took off. Yeah, it's because you never fucking made one, bitch. I did. Did you? Yeah. I never saw it. There's your problem. 
Nobody saw it. <laughs> anyway. I got, uh, <laughs> somebody was like, oh, I like how he says folks. It might have even been a Jeb. Yeah. The one that still watches us. <laughs> yeah, he finally made us our Game Mavericks wiki the other day. What do you day. mean? You see that? I, it, act, it actually annoys me how much of a dick you are about this. <laughs> he finally made it. What yeah, do you mean he, he made me finally my wiki. made it? I mean, as though like you, you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> We're not it's even... more like a joke between us that like there should be a game Mavericks wiki. And it's just like, oh, I'll make one. Just because you like that, like, what is it? That... that idea that there's a wiki for everything. Yeah. There's a wiki for the movie Cats and Dogs. Yeah. For the movie Cats and Dogs and the sequel Cats and Dogs: The Revenge of Pussy Galore. I mean, Kitty Galore. <laughs> Pussy Galore is the James, Bo James Bond character the Cats and Dogs character is based off of. Right, have oh yeah, by the way, Ripto is, is the final Act boss. Is it actually Pussy Galore? Pussy Galore was a character from James Bond. And then the character in the Cats and Dogs film is called Kitty Galore. Oh my god. That's real dumb. <laughs> Get it's one of those jokes that <laughs> what the hell Hold that on. the parents will get that the parents will get, but it. Back here, you useless animals. Why is he murdering sure sheep? Can we talk about this? He's testing Maybe out his new scepter that he made what? from the power crystal you that Spyro get. needs to get home. Yep. If you want to test that, you remember this cutscene where he threw bombs at everyone I'll and took the power still. crystal? I yeah. yeah, that was pretty. Uh, hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you just sealed your fate. Oh. All right. Oh, damn. Ha ha. Now, will Ripto may not be a very good villain? This boss fight's pretty good, actually. Is it hard? Um, it's decently challenging. And Laura is using the orbs you he has multiple things. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Hunter will throw power-up orbs to you as they become the Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy. I didn't know so Zoe talked. abilities that no one has ever seen before. Yeah, she sounds different. <laughs> she sounds different in the other games. Like, yeah, but Eric, don't you remember that hilarious joke from Hero's Tale where she was talking about how every time she zaps Spyros, he loses a million brain cells? Oh, that's right. She talked then. Don't that's you remember that hilarious joke? <laughs> it was pretty he man hilarious. Hugh Man, Aliens in the Attic, starring Ashley Tisdale, the best film of all time. <laughs> That was a very specific reference to that. Oh, well, you were the one who always did that human thing. Yeah, he, Now this supercharge ability is the useless. worst one because you can never see where you're going because the camera insists on focusing on Ripto the whole time. Which is helpful to some extent, but not when you're rushing around all over the place like a madman. And I don't mean most that good, Vladimir Putin kind of Russian. Most, most third... Like third person action type action like games tend to um I like how his eyes bug out whenever that happens. So what your your goal is to collect three of the orbs. So I do like how the orbs are used in the final boss fight. So like there's a reason you needed so many of them to go fight Ripto. Oh. Because you're actually using them to fight Ripto. That I enjoy. I wish that the talismans actually had a role yeah. in this is crushing gold. I just realized that was Hunter wearing a pair of paper wings. Yeah, well, we saw him. We saw him like this earlier. Remember yeah. that one mini game where he had to fly through the rings after oh, Hunter? That makes it less silly then. If we've already seen it, you goofball. <laughs> this is probably the hardest phase of the fight, just because Ripto is so small and moves everywhere. So he gets bigger. Um, well, like, the other phases are different, I'll say it that way. It's not like Enter the Dragonfly where he turns into Caveman Ripto. Yeah, that's so fucking... That weird. boss was fucking garbage. The, his icon right. for when he gets full orbs, yeah. he gets, like, white eyes. Fucking Blank scary. eyes. He looks like a, like a, like a, like a silly goose, like you. What? Sniped. Like Wesley Snipes. 
What was that movie with the monk that does the weird dance and he's fat? That was Brother Clive. Oh. The Clive is alive. What the hell are you talking about? There's like this movie that uh, the Nostalgia Critic reviewed where there was like oh, this... Uh, I don't care! Wesley Snipes had like blonde hair. I don't know, Jeb probably I know, I know what I know the movie you're talking about, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay, so you actually... you Do you know what the name was? No. But you remember the movie, at least. Yes. Okay. Now, see, the rush actually helps against the big guy, because you can aim for him. He... If you die, do you just go back to the last phase, or...? No, you, you have to do the whole thing. Then stop dying, you goof. I'm not dying. You were just- you just almost died. Well, well I didn't you die because I'm being close. careful. Be, Scratch that. Be careful. Be careful! John throws caution to the wind and pursues Jane. Pursue Be careful! Jane. What was the other one? There was this fat guy and then there's Club of, Club, of, Club of Clapper, man. 64 for the Atari Genesis. Eric, what do you think of the laser? That's a pretty good sound effect. They're just dropping sheep as sacrifice to the dragon. Yeah. Where's Hunter getting all of these sheep? Beats me. Beats the hell out of me. Beats my dick. Do whatever. <laughs> I don't know if do. I'll go for that one. <laughs> you mean? Ha 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 ha. That laugh that Lex Luthor does in Superman 64. Whoa. He what? just fucking rocket lifts it off the ground. <sighs> Considering the laws of physics, that's actually pretty impressive. That despite his size. He can he can levitate short for a short period of time. And yet still be as compact. And have all the battle functionality or function functions functionality functionalities function wars pawn shop or <sighs> pawn wars. What do you think of the Rick Harrison meme, Michael? Never heard of it. The I'm something. I'm this age, and I work with my my dad and my son, Big Hoss. We get all sorts of stuff, but one thing you never know for sure. Great. One thing's cer certain, you never know what's gonna come through that door. Then people make all different versions of it. Oh, is that that Pawn Shop? Yeah, Pawn Show? Yeah. Pawn Star? Yeah. I said Pawn Stars. Okay. You silly goose, you fucking goober. Yeah, I've never actually seen that show, but that sounds like if I were to make a show like doesn't that, that like I would have that, that as the well, intro. Doesn't that sound like a hilarious meme, Michael? No. Michael loves shooting things with pterodactyls involved. Yeah. Uh, you're 100% one, one of the, the sections like that you've enjoyed. Okay, there's a part like this in Spiral 3 that I really hate, but at least that's the whole boss. Does it have a pterodactyl? No, I it has see. a... Well, it's it could it's another one of these fly above the instant kill death liquid and shoot the boss and hope that his attacks don't hit you before you hit him. I like the fucking weird yelling slash singing opera I guess it's called <laughs> in the background the yeah it is opera that's my I think I rated this I think this was number 10 in my top 10 final boss things really yeah I like it okay <laughs> did Ripto just fucking die I mean yeah but did he he, I, I mean, mean, like, you have to remind, remind yourself that this game was made before Enter the Dragonfly and Season of Flame and all those other games where Ripto comes back. Yeah. So he just fucking dies. Into the fucking... into the abyss. Yep. Wasn't there a I weird... I don't think we can ever thank you enough, Spyro. What was the, what was the game where they played the credits to fake you, you out? Now? Yeah, I do. Um, be missing me in the dragon I think that was Enter the Dragon Fight. You don't get the ending unless you get 100%. Before you go, I think I guess. Money bags has something he wants to give you. I most certainly do not. Hunter? Oh, it's money. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is so 
Spyro, money bags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and with my pencil. There. Spyro, you can On the non-existing keyboard. Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be oh, you mean all that weeks. nothing he just did? Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon. That's the game, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, but we still gotta... What's, what are they saying, Michael? Uh, they're just saying they have to stay behind and clean up Ripto's mess. That's basically what they're saying. Mm. Alright, but we can get a Dragon Shores now. So what we heard. But we gotta watch the the Creterinos first, I guess. So I guess we'll do final thoughts now. This game's fucking weird. Your turn. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a great game. In many ways, it's a progressive sequel. Like, I know Jeb was commenting in our Spyro 1 playthrough saying that mm. you didn't find the first game all that interesting. Because it was literally just collect a thon the game. Personally, since I like collect a thons, I enjoyed that. They're, the mini, the mini games were kept to a mini mum. Ha ha ha. But oh dear. I can see it. I think that for most people, this this game's a little more accessible just because it has a little more variety in it and there's more of a focus on the story. Uh, this guy. Uh, you know what I like about this game? That the first one, and actually none of them really have um this game has the best character of all time brother clive brother clive 2 for the ps1 who needs friends when you can chant like this indeed <laughs> but <laughs> you better bring if you ever review this I still think... If you ever review this, you better fucking mention Brother Clive. Yes, I will mention Brother Clive, just for you. You have to. But, I, you know, Spyro 2, great game, but I don't, I don't think it's... I don't think it's the best of the three. I still think my favorite's Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Uh, you know, because I enjoyed the other playable characters, and I thought the mini games weren't as bad. At least from my recollection. Like at this point I played all three of these games so many times that the mini games don't give me any trouble anymore. <laughs> you say that, but you fucking throw several fits over the course of this playthrough. Compared to like the first time I played them where they were actually <laughs> kind of hard. <laughs> it was just worse the other times. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting you again. But I mean, like the only other thing I'd really say about Spyro 2 is that I thought it, it was enjoyable to have a plot, you know, with actual characters that were actually kind of interesting. Whereas the first one is just stop nasty Nork, and then that's it. But at the same time, it's it's pretty sloppy story with where with no stakes. Ripto doesn't do anything of substance. Um, that's kind of the big problem is like everybody stop Ripto he's ruining everything but Ripto doesn't fucking do anything in this entire game all the stuff that happens in levels is just would have happened whether Ripto was there or not so and if it was supposed to be Ripto's fault the game didn't do a good job of explaining that like apparently those those idols that come to life in the other five level apparently oh. the oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background probably uh, apparently those idols in the Idol Springs levels came to life from Ripto's magic, but if that's the case, why didn't they show that? Why didn't they say, Ripto's magic has caused the idols to come to life? That would've come. <laughs> why didn't they do that? first of all, they're not Jewish, so they wouldn't say it like that. Second of all, they'd have to pay for, to animate it. Well, they already animated something and there it, to begin nobody with. nobody really cares about, you know... There's, there's a certain suspension of disbelief that you should probably have in playing Spyro I know Dragon it's too. a Spyro game and the and the plot is just a, an excuse to collect a bunch of shit. I'm aware of that, but I'm saying like a lot of people whenever they review this game and talk about how much they love the story and like I just don't get it because it's not it's passable, it's serviceable, but it's not good. It could have been a lot better if they just really played up the risk that Ripto poses to Avalar if they'd really explained why he's so dangerous. Avalar. 
But they don't do that. Ripto just sort of shows up every now and then and you hurt him because he's bad, I guess? You like hurting people. Yeah. This is secretly the prequel to Hotline Miami. Right, but... Uh oh okay. We still have over. one last level to go. And fortunately, it can. if we finish it, we unlock a theater mode so I can splice in the cutscenes with the proper audio for you guys. Wow. 